hello welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to install the cpanel into uh, aws servers so you know that the whm and cpanel is the uh, a package it's a beautiful package for the using in the development uh, sections so first of all i'm logged into my account aws account and i'm going to that the ec2 server so also you can choose from here also there in the service section and we can go to that EC2 and EC2 uh, uh, I'm creating a server like the launch instance and basically the thing is that uh, the WHM and CPAN and also in install only for the uh, CentOS servers so I find the CentOS servers and I use that 8 send to as 8 and basically I am right now using the free servers for my uh, demo purpose so you can use that your customize any type of servers so okay then all the configuration are okay right now and uh, uh, I have to use that the 25 GB server disk space because this 30 GB is free. So yeah, so the name I use C panel and you can choose that the you can create the security group. Uh, I already have that you add the rule. I already have that the security group. It's uh, launch wizard dash one so i have that the add in the custom rule and all these things 80 22 any port so what you want and then after that i install i launch and uh, you can I, I already have so many servers and for the demo purpose so i already have the key pair so you can create a new key pair and download that and i i choose the existing one so i already have okay so here is my server is pending status it's creating yeah listen one more thing is that uh, in the in the whmc panel basis so you need a uh, elastic ip or the static ip so i create that elastic ip and i use it to uh, associate with that my server running server okay so it's already attached so if if i refresh that server yes you can see that the ip was associated so i have yes i have connect through that the uh, ssh so this is the IP and the username is the same ways and you use that your key file. So I have been okay. So I think it will take some time. Yeah, it's initializing. So that's why it will take some time. Not an issue. Yeah, now it is ready and we can connect to that the SSH. Okay. Okay, so first of all I'm going to that the root user and the one more uh, thing is that I am just uh, you can go to that the cpanel docs and you have that the one is the installation and one command you have to put it there your server. So that is a single command. Yeah. Then I have to start the installation and configuring. Yeah, it started. So it's a various library and all those things it can be installing and it will take some time. It's a more than uh, it's a depend on the server. So uh, I use the free server, so it will take some time from us or me. So after that, uh, it can be it can be installing in your server is a 
if it have the good servers like the 8GB RAM and the 4 gb CPU, it can be easier and the faster. So not an issue. I just demo purpose. I use the free server. So let's wait for the till it's uh, uh, finished and it have that uh, some uh, link, the temporary link and all these things. So let's we can, we can check that. Yeah, that is already installing and uh, that is a vital thing so, so you have to careful that that they have the temporary URL and also the port you have to enable in the server so I already enable in the security group so I just copy the temporary URL and I just paste to that uh, here It's a one-time URL. You have to careful with that. Yeah. So you can check that the cPanel and WHM. It's a configuring. So I have to agree with all the things. So I have to log into the cPanel store. So if you have that the login, it is okay. But I I don't have right now. And I I just creating the account so I copy my email ID and I agree and create an account okay so the email has been validated yes allow access Sometimes within few minutes, yes, the system has been created and the verification link. Also, I have received a yes, the verification email code, so I have to put it there. 
made by my email. So uh, basically, I am going to install that uh, trial version and uh, activate that. Yes. So also again, I have to copy my email ID. they will send me that uh, in the email okay so in the trial versions I already have the install and uh, you can check that uh, cpanel was installed in my server so first of all I'm going to use the change the root password because that is have the temporary password and uh, yes and copy and paste uh, again the root change password so I will mention one yes the system successfully updated and also I have been the copy that the URL also and the username is the root and the password so you can check that I already have that user the next things I have to do that the add an account so I, I right now I don't have any account so I have to add the account so cpanel basically cpanel and whm I already have installed in my server so thanks for watching if you like my video please create, like and share and subscribe my channel so next video I will uh, show you how to add the uh, account so thank you thank you so much